Hey guys, good morning, happy new month. Welcome to February 2020. Thank God for keeping us alive, healthy, kicking, and looking forward to the greatness of life in this month. January was beautiful, was full, was loaded, was great. This morning we start a new month of February and it's beautiful already. We speak into the month. It's a month of ease, a month of productivity, a month of growth, a month of peace and a month of favor. May everything, everything, everything favor us. The health place, where are you going again this early morning? Ah, I'm already at my retreat venue. BSG has been facilitating company retreats since last Monday. It ends tonight. So it's been a long week of retreating with clients, you know, 7 a.m. till late evening. It's been a very hectic week and I'm already at the client premises shooting this. So I've shot Diary of a Coach every single day of this week in my client premises. So that's the way we roll. Yes, yeah, so February, I'd like you to speak February ahead. I'd like you to write your comment. What is February for you? For me, February is a month of harvest, love harvest. This is the month of love. And this month, I want to experience love like never before. Every day, I want to experience love. Oh, love in its full ramifications, unhinged. Unfettered, I want to just unleash good love. Love everyone, get loved in return. Because I believe that in giving we receive. So this is the month of unleashing oneself in love. That's my personal code. So this month I'm open to getting and getting and getting and giving and giving and giving love and getting returns of love. What is the month for you? Let me know. Write it in the comment section. Let's talk about February for you. Today's diary is episode 299. Diary of a Coach episode 299. One more episode and we hit 300. Voila. And today's episode is titled Never Say Never. Never say never. I found that man has the propensity to say, I will never do this. I will never do that. I will never do this. And while we have the audacity to say things like that, I found again and again that man is so, when there's a threshold you get to, that everything you have kicked against, you seem to switch. Everything you kicked against, you seem to switch. There was a man, long time ago, he had disciples. And I was telling his disciples, hmm, one day you people, you will connive. One day you guys, you will kick against me. One day you guys, you will betray me. One day you guys will do this. One day you guys will do that. The disciple told, the man told his disciples, I know that one day you people will betray me. I want to say, lie, lie. Like, like to fear kwa, never to fear kwa is is the language of the southeast of Nigeria, the Igbo tribe, where it means God forbid. They said lie, 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 lie in Yoruba, which is southwest of Nigeria, is never. They said they said never, we will never betray you. <laughs> and the man looked at the guy that said never and, and said you. This weekend, before the cock crows three times, you will betray me just mark it so it just teaches us something i remember in 2006 i was working in lagos i was working with total downstream on afribank street in victoria island lagos southwest of nigeria and i got this offer from a company in marina marina is in around broad street in lagos in the heart of the island and in the course of the interview, the employer, the potential employer was asking me, so would you like to market? Would you, are you interested in marketing? I, the job I went for was um, network administrator. 
And so the man was asking me, would you mark it? And I, I didn't allow him finish. I just immediately interrupted him and I said, never. I will never mark it. And he said, he laughed. He said, no, 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 don't worry. I was just asking. And he offered me the appointment. My salary was going to be 54,000 Naira. But I declined. I declined the job because the moment he had mentioned that marketing, I just had this feeling that when he, I got, when I, if I took the job, he was going to coerce me into marketing. I said, never. I will never market. But ladies and gentlemen, between 2011 and now, which was five years after that interview, between 2011 and now in 2020, I'm talking about nine years, I have become a natural marketer. I mean, marketing has become second nature to me. Marketing has become something that I do spontaneously. I market so fluidly now that it has become hypnotic. Like everything I do has a marketing stint to it. Everything I do, there's a marketing angle to it. And so when I reflect on 2006 and whatever my beliefs were prior to that time, and I'm imagining, I said I would never market. Well, here I am today, marketing spontaneously, even sometimes unconsciously I'm marketing. And it just reinforces the belief that you never say never. Some of us have promised never to, we we. Some people promised when I get married, I'll be the best spouse. Life happened. Some of you promised when I have children, I will be the best parent. Life happened. Some of you felt when I grow up, I'll take care of my parents, I'll build a house for them. Life happened. So while we aspire to do things, we must remember somewhere that there is an allowance for things that may go somehow that is beyond your control. And so in business parlance, we normally say plan for the, um, prepare for the best, plan for the worst. <laughs> Hope for the best, plan for the worst. Which means in all your thinking and projections and calculations and aspirations and, pro and everything, be optimistic, yeah? Be very, very optimistic. But somewhere in the optimism, give an allowance for the inevitability, the inevitable outcomes of life that is beyond you you are frail you are mortal you are human and there are conditions there are principles there are domains there are dimensions there are spirits there are there are realms that are beyond the human realms that govern the human realms so there are dimensions that are beyond the human realm and even though you can speak to a dimension to change its course to favor you there's an allowance you must remember and that way, when you remember the allowances, you realize that you are able to adapt with life as life responds to you. We can categorically say because of the law of attraction and because of our spiritual awareness of ourselves, we can speak into a system and it will tilt and change to our, for our favor. However, there is a process to change. There is a process. So, so sometimes I can speak to a situation until it changes for me, until is the process. Until seal means that there is a period a window that things may not be in my favor things may not be as i want it things may not be palatable things may not be admir admirable things may not be as promising as i look forward to it things may not really make sense there is an until the things switch to favor you because there's a process of time there's a curve that our affirmations have to process and change if affirmations happened instantly, everybody will have a good life. But there is a test of your greed. There is a test of your resilience. There is a test of your faith. There is a test of your belief. There is a test of your optimism. There is a test of the things you hold so strongly to. And then it begins to work for you. That's why things like entrepreneurship is a long journey. It's not the first year you start that everything just blows on. There is a process of getting to become wealthy. That's why relationships takes a lot of effort. That's why jobs, getting jobs and being on a job and growing through a job takes a lot of effort. Everything in life takes, there is a process to it. And so never say never because there are some dimensions that are beyond you. Give allowances for these things and then when you give allowances, you can adapt and transit through the changes that can happen. Charles Darwin said in his Theory of Evolution, 
uh, the most powerful animals on earth are not the strongest animals neither are they the smartest animals they are the animals that are open to adaptation so the more you can adapt to life the better it is for your mental health the better it is for your future the better it is for your happiness the better it is for your joy the better it is for your peace the better it is for you because that way you know that everything works together for good for you in the end because you are loved that is how i think and that's how i hope that this can add value to you so don't say never never say never because you don't know just say by the grace of god hopefully all things being equal i look forward to everything turning out this way you need to give allowances for the possibilities that things may never go the way you want because sometimes we curse people for what they go through until we're in their shoes then we're like oh my god I wish I understood when that guy was going through this thing. I wish I understood when that lady was going through this pain. Sometimes you don't cause a person going through pain because you may never have that understanding since you never went through it. So never say never and give room for changes. This is Diary of a Coach. This is episode 299. Today is the deadline for registering for our goal setting masterclass after today all the early bird fees close and then it goes to full fee from midnight today and it's exactly 12 days to the end of early bird payments for bsg summit either excuse me either way you don't lose actually because if you pay between now and 12th you have access to private sessions with mr demola banjo mr demola banjo just acquired um Prixer food systems in the usa an extension of his cereal businesses that man is a moving machine he's a bulldozer that's why i want him to come and talk with everyone who pays between now and february 12th because i want him to share with us the secrets <clears throat> of his strategy the secrets of how he's able to expand his businesses and how he's able to be resilient in this system so you don't want to miss a session with mr demola banjo the founder of prixer foods Buka grab and go louis valentino uh, governor you know he's the one of all these chains of businesses the guy is a very major guy i love him so i'd like you to come join us in that session the date will be announced immediately after february 12th so you need to get yourself going and then if you decide to pay more than 55k if you pay 100k you get a chance to spend one night in fraser suite or you have the access to our faculty on mental health for your for training free training for 10 stuff i mean i mean what do you stand to lose so so either way you stand to benefit something very very important and great so you don't want to miss this and i look forward to seeing you register immediately for any inquiries and questions you have of me please call the number or send a whatsapp message or sms to 0807 0807 so guys, it's a beautiful Saturday. I need to get to work right away because woo, day six of client retreat holding right away facilitated by BSG. BSG means business study group. Thank you guys. Love you very much. Have a beautiful Saturday. And don't forget, never say never. Bye.